hello everyone welcome to my channel tech quest learning point today i am going to discuss about the variable in c sharp and it's the second episode of this series of tutorial programming c sharp for beginners my name is basher i am an expert it professional first of all let me review the complete course Programming C Sharp for Beginners is a comprehensive introduction to the C Sharp programming language. It covers the fundamentals of C Sharp such as variable, data types, loops, operators and methods. Through a combination of lectures, hands-on experiences and small projects, students will gain the skills and knowledge necessary to create applications with C Sharp. Let's come to the point. What's variable? A variable in C sharp is a named storage location that can hold a value of particular data type. It can be used to store and manipulate data within a program. Variables in C sharp must be declared with a specific data type and can be assigned a value that can be changed during the execution of the program. In simply, variables are containers for storing data values and a variables can contain different type of data value. Before using a variable, it must be declared with a variable name and its data type, which indicate which type of value is stored in the variable. What is data type? In C sharp, data type is a classification of type of data that a variable or object can hold. This helps the compilers to understand what kind of operations can be performed data and how much memory should be allocated to store the data. There are several built-in data types in C sharp such as int, float, double, cat, bool, etc. Additionally, C sharp also supports user-defined data types through classes and structures. Understanding the data types is essential for writing efficient and error-free code in c -sharp. There are three types of data types in c -sharp language. Value data type, short, int, cracked, float and double. Reference data type, string, class, object, interface. Number three, point data type, pointers. Here are comprehensive list of data types in C sharp organized into categories value types, integral types, S byte, 8 byte signed integer, minus 128 to 127 byte, 8 bit unsigned integer, 0 to 255 short. 16 bit signed integer minus 32768 to 32767 unshort 16 bit unsigned integer 0 to 65535 int 32 bit signed integer even int 32 bit unsigned integer long 64 bit signed integer u long 64 bit unsigned integer char 16 bit unicode character floating point types float 32 bit single precision floating point number double 64 bit double precision floating point number decimal 128 bit decimal floating point number boolean type bool represents logical values reference types string object array class interface delegates enum nullable types dynamic types pointer types we should keep in mind some points 
when we are using the data types. Value types store their data directly on the stack. Reference types store a reference to the data on the heap. C sharp is strongly typed. Variables must be declared with a specific data type. The choice of data types depends on the kind of data you need to store and the operations you need to perform on it. In the next topics, keywords in C sharp. In C sharp, keywords are predefined reserved identifiers that have specific meanings to the compiler. They play a crucial role in constructing the language's syntax and defining program logic essentially. Essentially, they are building blocks of C sharp code. Here are some key points about keywords. These are you cannot use them as variable names, class names, or any other identifier in your program directly. Attempting to do so will result in compile errors. Special meaning each keyword has a specific function within the language like controlling program flow, defining types, or performing operations. Variety of roles. They encompass various categories like value type keywords, reference type keywords, modifier keywords, statement keywords, operator keywords, literal keywords. Limited flexibility. Although result there was a way to use keywords as identifier by prefixing them with the at the red symbol. However, this should be done with caution for clearly and best practices. Contextual keywords. Certain words, not technically keywords, acquire special meaning in specific context like where or partial. So it's clear that understanding keywords is very essential for anyone learning or working with C sharp. Identifiers in C sharp. In C sharp, an identifier is a user defined name that's used to uniquely identify various elements within your code such as variables, methods, classes, namespaces and more. It's like giving a distinct level to each part of your program so that so the compiler can understand and manage them correctly. Here are the key rules and conventions for creating valid identifiers in C sharp. We can follow the rules when create a identifier. Naming rules must start with a letter A to Z or small a to Z or an underscore can include letters digit 0 to 9 and underscores in subsequent characters cannot be reserved keyword in C sharp are case sensitive can contain unicode characters but it's generally recommended to stick to ASCII characters for better compatibility naming conventions and best practice use Pascal case for class names as for example person employee use camel case for variable and method names as for example small fast capital n a n now i am going to show the variable declaration initialization in c sharp okay let's start with the visual studio 2022 Country without code. Click on the file New Project. Click on the console app.net framework. Click on the next. Type the project name PRO Declare Initialize. Select the location. 
lab2 type the solution name sln declare initialize framework version will be 4.8 click on the create button new solution will be created first i will show the simple declaration and initialization now declare the variable int variable name is initialize the variable with the value 30 in the comments declare and this and integer variable 30 in this line the variable is is declared with the keyword int that means this variable with the data type integer and this variable can contain only the integer value this variable is initialized with the value 30 and now we will show the value of the variable console dot right line In order to show the output of this program, let's click on the start button. Here is the output of this program. The value of the variable is, is 30. Let's write another example with a different data type. Let's data type is string variable name name initialize with the string. Alice copy this line paste here name name show the output Alice Next, I will show the declaration and initialization separate declaration and initialization. Int num num is initialized. Here in the first line, the variable name num is declared with integer data type int, and in the second line, the variable is initialized with the value 50. Now, print the output of this program. The value of the variable. Let's run this program in order to show the output. Press enter key. The value of the variable num is 50. I want to show only below program. That's why let's run this program. Num variable value is 50. Let's write another example with the data type string string meshes variable name meshes initialize the variable hello world meshes let's run this program message is hello world now i want to show the multiple variable declarations with initialization 
मल्टीपल भेरिएबल डिक्लारेशन इनिशियलाइजेशन इंट एक्स इनिशियलाइज उइथ फाइव हंड्रेड कमा y initialize with 700 here's the two variable declared in the single line same data type and initialize in the, at the same time 500 with x and 700 for y we did clear and initialize variable with values 500 and 700 now print copy this line for showing the output of this program values of two variables x and y with key. I don't want to show this program that's why I comment out the selected lines click on this part in order to show the output let's run the program the value of the two variables x 500 and y 700 let's write another example string first name is initialized by john comma last name Initialize with do print this value first name last name. If we run this program, the output will be like else first name John and last name do. Now I want to show the variable declaration with the keyword bar. Using the bar keyword for automatic, type in first, type in first. Using the bar keyword for automatic type in first. Bar number assign value is 42.0 semicolon declare a variable number and inverse its type its type as double based on the value here the variable number is declared to by using the keyword var and initialize the variable with 42.0 which is double that's why the keyword var is worked as a double data type let's show another example here the greeting variable is declared with the var keyword and in this case the var keyword is worked as a string because the variable is assigned with the string high there let's paint the output of this program copy greeting
let's show the output of this program click on the start button values of two variables press any key so the value of the variable number 42 and the values of the variable getting high there comments these start this program here is the output of this program okay i hope it's clear to you how to declare and initialize the variable with different type of data type let's practice and make you clear yourself